Did she say coven season? Demon babies? What? Somebody go give me the Bible. Who got the Quran? Give me the Torah. Sutras, mantras, something. Demon babies? What's she talking about? Hey to all you baby making people out there. This is Tramika, aka Free to Be, aka Blue Sky, aka Belly Oso oh Pregnant. And today, yes, we're talking about cuffing season and demon babies. So you might say, what does that have to do with the other? It has to do with a lot. First, let's just start with looking at what cuffing season is. Point number one cuffing season first let's break down what cuffing season is i looked it up got a definition here it go cuffing season when single people began looking for short-term partnerships to pass the colder months of the year october through guess what february 14th i wonder why february 14th <sighs> Okay, so let's just break down what some of the words and the meaning of cuffing season is. One of the words is short term. So short term, meaning what? Um, short term nerve, short term tension span, um, uh, getting the short side of the stick. I wrote some things down. Um, short tempered. Uh, I'm getting short with this person. So all these type of things dealing with short and temporarily automatically is not setting up the season of cuffing to be cool, right? Also, let's look, take a look at the word cold. Cold was in the definition. As you know, October through November for most, some people, uh, is a cold season. It's considered a fall season. What happens? Cold. So think about all the things that happen when it's cold, you know, uh, or things that you say or think about with a cold. Oh, that was cold. She dissed you. Or um, um, she's cold now, you know. She's cold-hearted. Um, she's as cold as ice, you know. Um, and in the colder months, also, that has to do a lot with death, you know. So when you deal with death, all the negativity that comes with death, um, that's also hovering around um, the season as well. I am getting to a point, so let's just go with me right now. So death, cold, and short term are all things that as somebody who may get pregnant, is that an energy that you would want to get pregnant with? Also, take a look at what happens in the colder months besides death, as far as the transitions of fall. You know, the leaves are falling. What's happening? The, the trees are getting rid of their leaves, meaning that it's not adding on. It's actually subtracting. It's getting rid of what it doesn't need so it can sustain itself through the dead periods so that it can rise again in the spring. So this temporary cuffing season automatically the term is setting up for some negative energy let's get into number two number two has to do with the intentions where is all of this coming from and it's coming from when you think of cuffing season you think of hooking up with that boo whether single some people be trying to cuff in on the side when they marry but that's a whole other topic but basically the lower parts the sexual natures all of this is pretty much ruling cuff and season. It's the lower part of our bodies. It's called the root chakra. The root chakra, for those who know, for those who don't know, is red. All right. And the deeper you go, the deeper the red. So that's what's ruling it. That's the brain that's ruling it. That's the motivation. That's the will that's driving this temporary season going on. So when you think of red, just typical red. What do you think? Like, literally, what do you think? I'll give you a moment, a couple seconds. Right. 
So pretty much you thinking something like, oh, she, she, she going red or I see red or, or blood or danger or some kind of like a hazard or like a warning or like a stop, you know, type thing. So it's a whole bunch of things deriving around even devils, demons, some people might think, you know, and I'm just only saying what I know some of you are thinking. So don't be sitting here looking at me like, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> but that's what the color represents pretty much. So that is what's ruling the lower section, the root chakra, and that's what's motivating people with their intentions to have cuffing season. Now, once again, is that an energy that you want to start producing in once it comes to getting pregnant or having those oops babies, right? All right, so let's get into number three. Number three, if it ends before spring, doesn't that mean the seed is dead? The seed has to be either dead, weakened, or damaged. The seed meaning what you have created since October through February. Cuffing season is supposed to end on February 14th. Go figure, right? But accurate. So, because that's when the spring starts to come, it starts to warm up, the days will start getting longer, people start going out and intervening with other people. But let's just think of that whole situation of the seed dying. Anything that you're not going to see that comes towards fruition comes to spring, meaning that everything was done, necessary, during that fall season in order for something to flourish come spring but it's dead remember cuffing season ends in february right before spring it is temporarily so think about a damage or a weak energy or even a dead energy like is that something that you really want to start producing in automatically with that energy ho over and over a dead energy nothing that's reproduced in nothing that's recreating and then think about the relationship, a dead relationship now. It's a weakened relationship. It's February 14th. You might have got your own boo. Or at this point, you're probably fed up with all the situation. So you're like, I'm dead in this. That's for the way I'm dead in this. Dead ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's all happening around the same cup of season. So once again, is that something that you want to produce it? Um. So if you take a look at all three of them, you can see, first of all, the definition <laughs> right off the bat is just setting up poor energy. Then you have the intention behind it is setting up for poor energy. And then worst of all, it's going to end because it's temporary. So now you got the deadbeat dads. Now you got the deadbeat moms. Now you got, you know, these hoes keep calling and I ain't picking up. What? These hoes keep calling and I ain't picking up. So, please, before you get into anything, I have some suggestions for you. Because I can't run your life. You do you, all right? I'm just one person just trying to spread some advice. Number one, just make sure, especially during the COVID season, make sure that you ante up on all your... Um, protection. So if you get the shots, if you take the pills, if you get the frams, if you get all these other kind of things, make sure you get them and get them in bulk. If you haven't scheduled your shots, I will definitely do that only because um, they may shut the whole situation down again. All the COVID might shut everything down and it might be hard for you to get that stuff. Also, when it comes to um, condoms, even if females, even if you are on some other kind of uh, contraceptive, it's still good to also carry your own condoms because you don't know how long he done had that in his wallet. You've seen plenty of movies out there, I'm sure, if you haven't because you're young, look them up where people be pulling up old condoms that their great-grandfather gave them and it'd be all dusty and crusty and they have to blow on it and it does come out and whatnot. And then if you go like, like that, the condom just breaks. So make sure you also get um, condoms for yourself. And even if you are uncomfortable with doing that, it's best to be uncomfortable doing that because pregnancy can be uncomfortable as well, especially if you have somebody ghosting you, especially you have somebody being cold, and especially you have somebody in your life that was just temporarily. Another thing that you can do, this goes for both males and females. Also, let me talk about the males. I ain't talk about the condoms. Yeah, make sure you, you keep your condoms and make sure that you check the expiration dates and not be 
be using something that's borrowed from your friend and you don't know how long he had it because you know he didn't have a girlfriend in five years. So you also make sure there's plenty of coupons, you know, apps where you can download. They might give out free samples. Go to the health department. The health department always be giving out free condoms. So they will mail them to you, ship them to you, whatever they can do. They would do it. They have all different sizes and colors. Now, if you need the extra, extra, extra thin lamb skin, moles tail, wool covered, then I don't know about that. You know, Amazon for that. But anyway, so guys and gals, you both have your duty to make sure that you stay protected always. Secondly, have a real conversation. Have a real conversation with your, your temporary boo, with your cuff and even boo, with the boo that you posted on Instagram, like, ah, there's my boo, ah, she's going to be jealous. All right, right? So have a real conversation. Be like, okay, this is temporary. You know, even if you got to pull out the Webster Dictionary, cuff and season is there. You know, just be like, hey, you know, it says October to February 14th. Now, if you want to send it to 15th so that way you can get a little gift and whatnot, whatever, that's all y'all, y'all do you. Or if you want to end it a couple of days before or a couple of weeks before, or a couple of months before, I don't know. Y'all do you. That's y'all life. But what I'm saying is if you are going to participate in this temporary cuffing season, protect yourself. Okay. So be honest with each other. You know, don't fake each other out. And that goes for the male and the female. If this is just to stay warm and just to, you know, whatever, because now the, the, the actually COVID season has been pretty much since March, right? Because no one has been able been going nowhere, you know, and, and bars have been closing and all that kind of stuff. So it's been on and off since March, but now it's really getting to the real deal, Hollyfield type stuff. Uh, uh. And that's also think about it in the first place. Like, do you really need somebody in your life like right now? I mean, like, can't you just go and get like one of those thermal blankets that you can warm up now they got like the thermal you know um pillows and everything they got all the the booties can warm up you know things are going on sale now it's like gift sales so can't you get other things to warm up you know some nice tea you know what i mean put some good honey up in there make yourself feel all warm and good inside and this goes both ways men you can go and do a whole bunch of sit-ups and push-ups and you know some air boxing up in there you know you can play your games and just like sweat it out because you like oh getting all excited getting that adrenaline out i mean or you can go to creative side do something that you want to do this is a time of reservation this is the time to really like go within just like as you look outside in nature how the leaves are shedding like i don't need all this this is too much dead weight let's get rid of this because i gotta make sure that i last through the dead period so that i can be back and banging you know come springtime so sometimes you gotta look at nature as like a clue on what you're supposed to be doing all the mammals are pretty much got their food stacked up you know they got their whole list of what they want to watch you know during the season well yeah i probably watched everything since covid but even create you know what i mean oh i've been wanting to learn guitar since i was 12 maybe i should go get a used guitar you know at the salvation army why they still open and you know see what i can do and if i like it then i'll go buy me a nice new one and get down with it but you know this is a good time to you know uh go within and do what you got to do if you want to do a home you know makeover but you've been putting it off for a side you know you want to paint this room paint that room you know go ahead and do that because that's going to set you up for the spring that's going to get your mood right so basically it's like why bring in and this is where the demon babies come in at why bring in or create something under all those foggy negative situations because now you setting it already up you planting the seed in order for it to either be damaged in some kind of way whether the baby comes out you know whatever and a lot of times when you're stressed out and this is true deal um the levels of all the hormones, the stress hormones inside your system can actually seep in to the baby. So the baby, it may come out being like a crack baby, you know, because hormones is like drugs. You know, that's why people take drugs to get those uh, hormonal highs that we naturally go up and down with, especially women, you know, especially when we become pregnant, they really get real. But those stress levels that he might put you through... <laughs> That's all, because that was your temporary boo, 
that's all being absorbed by your baby. So now your baby might come out, you know, having to um, be in the um, perinatal center because maybe you had a premature baby, um, because you were so stressed out, because you had to do too much. Whatever what the situation was, it wasn't set up. The seed wasn't planted in a good season. The intentions wasn't right. You know what I mean? The whole not being real with each other and what it's going to be like, okay, this is just for this, that, and the other. And after that, you know, we cool. Like, you know, we could be be friends or you just go your way or my way but no one should be blowing up each other's dms and all that other kind of mess and also those oops babies comes out a lot during this time especially during the winter it's cold nobody want to go out to the drugstore or because of covid now everything is really shut down um now flu season is adding up on it all this other kind of stuff they're going to be throwing at us in order to shut everything down so ladies and gents I plea you, if you do not want your children energy to start off. In this way, and then it's going to gravitate at everything that you two go through during that pregnancy, during that oops baby, during how we gonna figure this out, during I have a wife and I don't know, during I don't know because I supposed to be going overseas and I ain't never coming back and then this was just a temporary thing. So you could avoid all this that the baby's gonna feel, the baby's gonna know, and the baby will be coming out stressed and carrying those energies. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Please comment below. I'm so interested and curious on what you had guys have to say. Um, I hope everything goes well. But once again, invest in a blanket. They used to be $9.99. Now you can probably find one for $35 in a nice gift box. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. You told me you love me. You told me you love me. I put you on the season is over. I put you on the I put you on the I put you on the mixtape. Is this the same fucking baby? Get your fucking bed, please. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Don't do this to me. I want to go to the room.